What's up? So, <coughs> I did a thing. Since I've been putting money into this boat, I decided I was going to keep this one. I was going to buy like a Ranger or something, but I decided we're going to keep this Bass Tracker. I was going to get two power poles. I was in Bass Pro yesterday, and the guy was telling me to look into the Minn Kota Raptors. I looked into them, and I kind of like them. So I found some used. Brand new, they're 4200 I found some used that were like a year old for 2400 So I'm going to get them out of my truck now, get them lined up here, and we'll get it installed. brackets one of the pumps pumps are like way bigger than power pole pumps but those are gonna go in here and the biggest problem we're gonna have with this boat is the length of the friggin hydraulic lines like I'm gonna have to spend 400 bucks on hydraulic lines I'm gonna be two feet short it's ridiculous man there's no room in the back of the bass tracker to put the pumps so let me get the next pump Second pump. And I got some hydraulic fluid on my hand. Picked up a set of little buttons to go up at the front. Good place to buy your stuff from. Check them out. And I picked up some hydraulic fluid and stuff like that. Now, get these darn. Not power poles, and Coda Raptors. Said the wrong thing. I cleaned this up because the damn thing tipped over in the truck. I got hydraulic fluid all in the truck. All right, now let's go get the poles. All right, so I got them both here. You can see I got them one here, and I already have the bracket. They fit on power pole practice, believe it or not, so I'm taking this one off. I'm gonna sell this one. If anybody wants to buy it, I'll probably sell it pretty cheap. I'm taking this one off, and I got the two there. So stay tuned, and I'm gonna get this one off. I'll get back to you when I get this one off. 
All right, it's getting hot. I got them mounted. They went right on the power pull mounts. They look pretty darn good. Now I gotta see how long these wires use. Do they need to reach all the way to here? I'm gonna put the pumps. I doubt they're gonna reach there, so stay tuned. We'll get into that next. All right, all right, what's up? So, <coughs> we got the Minkota Raptors installed. Thank God I didn't record the actual video because of installing. So I was cursing up a storm. I would've got flagged on YouTube. I mean, it's very easy to install. Problem is in a bass tracker, there's no room in the back to put the pumps. You have to put the pumps in the front. You have to run all the wires to the front. Trust me, it's a pain in the butt. I'm gonna show you how they look and uh, what we did here. So, as you can see right now, we got the Raptors on. Uh, they actually fit right to the power pole brackets. And for this boat, this is the brackets that Bass Tracker recommended we use. Look to my videos, you'll see it's there. So, those are the power poles. They look pretty good, I like them. And they go down. See, I just kind of stopped it, but. Back up. Okay, and we'll go down. Double tap. They go down. Nice, so quiet, man, very quiet. Back up. All right, so on a regular, like a regular boat i'd say a regular boat like a skeeter or a ranger you have room bass tracker has no room now if since i have two batteries on my trolling motor since so it's a 48 volt uh or two battery trolling motor i have no room because i used to have the power pole in here you could fit two power pole motors in here probably not the minkota ones if you didn't have a trolling motor that big so with that said there's no room to do it so, you know, we routed cables on both sides, or hydraulic hoses, as you can see, okay? And they go down through here, and when it goes through there, okay? When it goes through there, and if you guys watch my videos on this boat, you'll see how I route my stuff. I route my stuff the same way all the time, okay? So, let me just get up in the boat. It goes down under the boat, Okay, it goes. <clears throat> I'm gonna shut this. Open up. It goes down. Okay, and then it goes. It's pretty much riding under the boat in the bilge. But there's an access panel right here. You lift up that access panel, and you could probably stick your hand, and as you're feeding it, you can kind of get it through. But you're gonna have to run a snake to get. You're gonna have to run a snake through that hole right there in the rod locker, okay? And you have to run that snake through here and you can catch it in the access panel and slide the snake into there. And you could pull all your stuff this way. Now, I'm telling you off the bat, you gotta pull each hose one by one because they're too thick. You're not gonna get all four of them in. And let me tell you something, it is a pain in the ass to get four hoses through that hole and then put a hole in there and on this side here I'm gonna close this <clears throat> that's where we have the pumps installed okay let me check my fluids make sure they're good because I just kind of put these in make sure we got yeah we're good on fluid all right pumps are installed right here okay and all the power and stuff is ran to the block right here all right power block right there and i have my live scope right here on off switch everything is ran okay now i'm going to go over the differences between the power pole and the minkota and why i went why I went with the Minkota over the power pole blades. 
okay? So, if you're looking at the price of both of them, okay? Power pole blades, I think they're about, man, I think they're 20, 2100. $2,100 each for the power pole blades, okay? Brand new. So if you get two, 2100 uh, times two is 4200 With tax and everything, you're about 43 4400 okay? The Minn Kota Raptors are 1700 I believe, each. So you're about, you save about six to seven hundred dollars buying the Raptors over the power poles. Now I'm gonna go over some of the differences okay and I'll have a, I'll tell you about the problem with the install I had on mine. So a couple of differences is all right it has a nice black fiberglass pole on this one okay and if they break their lifetime warranty the ones on the power pole break you have to buy them okay so that's one thing i like about them and don't get me wrong they look just like just like blades they look just like them okay now i'll tell you the difference in the pumps right i got a power pole pump here okay this is a power pole pump all right the whole unit is plastic the whole whole thing is plastic the reservoir is there it's just, it's, it's a smaller unit. And yes, I made this getter done holding plate because I didn't have one, okay? Now you compare that to the robustness of one of those. I mean, it's it's crazy. It, it's, it's double the size. It's got metal on it. It's metal on the bottom. The reservoir is bigger, okay? And uh, it just seems to me like the pumps are stronger now i know on the hoses for the power pole they're rated at 1700 psi on the raptor they're rated at like 3300 psi none of them are going to push that kind of psi but that, that's the difference okay they have a stronger like if i were to compare the hoses on the raptor to the hoses on the power poles the Raptor ones are kind of like a power steering hose, okay? And the ones that go on the power pole are just like, they're a little little more, more flexible, okay? So, one of the problems I have with the install on this Bass Tracker, like I said, you gotta run all the cables through, and when you get into that rod locker there, I don't know if you noticed in the video, I have extensions because the hose is the same thing on the power pole, same thing on the Raptor. I had to do the same thing. When you get the hoses in, they just barely make it into the rod locker, let alone into the bay right here. So, you know, the hoses go into the rod locker, all right? But when they'll just barely stick into the bay and they can't go in. So you're asking, how are those connected? Okay. One of them, for some reason, came a little bit longer. So that one reached. The other ones did not come longer. So I'm sitting here looking online and I'm like, well, how am I going to make this work? How am I going to make it all reach? Okay. So I'm looking on online. Minn Kota has extension kits. $189 per pole. It's about 400 bucks to your door. So I'm like, I didn't want to wait, number one. So I went to Napa and called Napa and said, hey, do you make hydraulic lines? Do not call and ask them to make you brake lines. Because I called it brake lines at first because they're about the same size. They will not make you hydraulic lines if you say they're brake lines because you, just whatever, law reasons, so whatever. I had these made, okay? Three foot, all right? And it has the male and female fittings on the end. These were $60 58 dollars each it was 230 dollars for four now mind you i only needed three so if you have a bass tracker i, I would get four because if you kind of try to run your wires neater you're gonna need four three feet is plenty enough 
because you got to think how when I get into the bay I have all this room so when you get into the bay you're about here and the power poles are right here so you can reach them all not power poles I'm sorry the Raptors I will put a screenshot of the actual Napa receipt with the part numbers to get these made they were about $55 each I believe it was $230 for four all right and these work good these are actually 6,000 psi but that's that's all they had and what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to, to make them fit you're gonna have to twist your fittings so if you can see see how my fittings are kind of twisted if you put the fitting straight up they won't fit it'll hit this so you got to twist your fittings over a bit and I don't have any leaks they look good but you got to twist your fittings over a bit okay so that's what I did and it works fine it works flawlessly everything works good uh, you know it, it works good hold down the button they go down hold up the button they go up no leaks no problems so I'm just telling you if you have a bass track now if you have like a, a nice bass boat okay I'm not dumb I know I got a bass tracker it's small it's not the biggest but it's mine and I like it if you have like a, a, a Ranger or a Skeeter or a Phoenix or an, even a Nitro, you'll have the room in the back for the pumps. On a Bass Tracker, no such luck. And when I had called Bass Tracker of how to mount these things, they gave me the directions of how to, the way you see them mounted is how they want, actually they want a pump on each side. But I put two pumps on one side because I'm not gonna, I have all my pumps and electrics, electronics in one side. That's how you have to do it. Now the difference is, I think the power pole and the Minn Kota, the Minn Kota I think is better, I think it's beefier, stronger, it does have the active anchor, so, well mine at least do, so if it senses you're like moving it kind of, whatever, I might look dumb, you could, whatever, doing that, it does that, kind of jacks them up and down, but I think the motors, the pumps are way bigger, way more robust than, than the uh, power pole pump. The units, I think, are, they're about the same. I think the, the, the make of the actual, the metal, and the stuff of the power pole and the Raptor, I think they're exactly the same. But the spikes are different. The spikes, I don't know which ones are better. I just know that uh, when it comes to power pole, if, if you have them down and you drive away, they'll sense that and lift up. These are meant to snap off, but they're lifetime warranty. You just send them back in, you get it. But... Oh, and also I installed, uh, I installed these, okay, these right here, which, uh, I don't even know if they're going to work right now, yep, down, up, but those are like a hundred bucks, those things right there, just so you can deal with it close by, but, you know, mine has two remotes, I have one remote here, that I keep uh, on the helm. I actually have one that goes around my neck. I have one that goes around my neck too. But this one goes right there. And I have the one that goes around my neck. And you guys see my other videos. We installed the, the Garmin EcoMap 160 SV Ultras and we installed the Live Scope on the Ultra, on the Ultrex. There was videos for that. You can find that. They're all pretty much just piled up on these last videos I put in. But my overall, let me tell you something. Power Pole has jam up customer service. Number one, they're in Florida. So if there's something I kind of have to deal with, I could just kind of like drive there. Minn Kota has good customer service too. I mean, I've, I've pulled up and had stuff shipped and it came within like two days. Price wise, Mikoda Raptor beats it by, if you're buying per pole, it beats it by per pole $400, okay? You get a bigger pump, you're saving $400. So you could choose whatever you want, but I'm telling you on the Bass Tracker, it's a pain in the giant ass to run those hoses through there. But that's pretty much that for the install of the, of the actual Raptors. I'll just, you know, do it once over again so you guys can see it. I mean, it, they look good. They look sweet. I mean, they kind of look just like power pole, you know, but they're not. They're Minn Kota. I mean, they're they're beefy. They're not going nowhere. And a good thing is they have the same bolt pattern to fit on the power pole brackets. 
Um, you know, I got these at a good deal. I'm not gonna say what I paid from, but I got them at a good deal because somebody I deal with just he's sponsored and he just has connections and stuff, and he was getting upgraded to the, to the ten footers, and these are actually eights, so I put the eights on it. I do have a lot of hydraulic fluid on my boat from this because I bought them using this hydraulic fluid in them, but I have a kill switch here. I turn everything off from this kill switch right here. Like in here, I have the kill switch, okay? It has its own battery in here. So the power poles are on the same battery as the live scope. I don't use the power poles that much. We ain't gonna drain that much, okay? But I could turn everything off because the live scope and stuff, you want directly to a battery. And I have my both my chart plotters directly to the battery. But I just turn everything off so you don't get no draw. I just come in here and click everything off, and that's it. You know, everything's pretty much off. That's the pumps. That's the install. That is the old power pole pump, and I actually have my power pole sold. But that's the old pump there. It, it, it worked great for me. It never failed. I did have to change the board because when I bought it from the guy, it had a problem. And the good thing, I'm not going to lie, man. I called power pole and said, hey, I bought a used power pole with a used pump okay they told me not a problem man we'll send you a brand new board zero dollars so kudos to power pole for that i'm not gonna lie that is the install of the raptors on the bass tracker if you have any questions put them in the bottom i will put a picture somewhere in this video of the actual uh part numbers for this because they have to make they have to make these hoses so i'll have the part numbers for that and uh any questions, leave them in the comment. Once again, thanks for watching. Beeler Outdoors, out.